Paul United Church of Christ that you join us in this online space. This week we are taking a look at Isaiah 6210 through 60, or I'm sorry, 6110 through 623. I delight greatly in the world. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me, clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of his righteousness. You will be a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. May you hear this good news today, no matter what 2023 held for you, if you are barely breathing as you survive this precipice, that is enough because your God delights in you and your God invites you to delight in them, to delight in the wonder of relationship, to delight in the wonder of interdependency where we're not supposed to be able to do it on our own all the time, to delight in the ways that new things are growing, even in the darkness of winter, to delight in the way of how all things are being made new, to not be quiet about it, but be quiet if you need to. Take a moment if you need to this morning to just sit in the quiet and recall, even if all you could come up with is one moment that you delighted in in 2023, will you take a moment now to reflect, to do the practice of examine, and to look back at all God has done and to look ahead dreaming of all that God is going to do as we enter in this season, this season, the season of Christmas tide, entering into the wonder of epiphany about to come, entering into the space where we come like the kings to behold what God is doing, what God is birthing right here and right now with you and for you and through you. Can you believe in that this morning? Can you believe that God is up to something big and beautiful with and for and through you? And that as we enter into this season of 2024, that we are about to be amazed at the miracles that God is doing. Can you believe that today? Let us pray. God, help us believe. Help us believe that you are born again in this time. Help us to see with fresh eyes the wonder of epiphany. Help us to believe yet again that you are showing us a new light in a new way, that you are preparing a way in the wilderness yet again, oh God. For the times when it's hard to believe, when we just don't have the words, we cling to the words that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. May we cling to the forever part of this mystery of faith 
as we go in grace and peace, knowing we are loved to be loved in this world. Amen. Happy New Year.